here we go again. Hey everyone, it's been a while. My name is Cole Watson, and I am here today to talk to you about a particular idea. And this idea, it's pretty big, but it's much more than that. This is an existential quandary entwined into the very fabric of our humanity. I'm talking about something so fundamentally indispensable that it's crucial to the nucleus of our very consciousness. Am I talking about snake emojis? No. Our national debt? Definitely no. Cats 2019? You know, I actually haven't seen it yet. I mean, and it looks so crazy, right? But like, I don't know. I find musicals to be generally really tedious and self-indulgent, so even ironically, I don't- No, I'm not talking about Cats 2019, though I'm sure I will get to it eventually. What I'm here to discuss is a question so supremely salient that its deliberation has been woven into the fabric of humankind for hundreds of thousands of years. And that question is, what if one time you woke up and you were a Pokemon? Would that freak you out? That would be nuts, right? I don't think I would freak out though. I think I would accept my new life pretty much immediately. No offense, but I would ditch all of you guys in a heartbeat. However, for those who seek to make an informed decision about whether or not they ought to rebuke their own bodily agency and start a new life as an electric rat or a horrible little goblin person, then one must first familiarize themselves with the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series. And there's essentially no better place to start than Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX on the Nintendo Switch. All jokes aside, this game rules and I love it and I am delighted to get to talk about it in depth on this brand new installment of All In. Now, before we move forward, even if you're already all too familiar with the single most profitable multimedia franchise in history, it might be worth reviewing exactly what separates the Mystery Dungeon series from the mainline games, and the trading card game, and the anime, and the mobile games, and collectibles, and the doomsday cults. So to be clear, a Mystery Dungeon title isn't actually exclusive to the Pokemon franchise at all. It's a series of games all its own derived from the roguelike gameplay model, which is then licensed to other franchises such as Pokemon or Final Fantasy by Spike Chunsoft, a studio founded by Dragon Quest co-creator Koichi Nakamura. In addition, while the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series now seems content to release just one game at a time, they used to release in pairs like traditional Pokemon RPGs, and Rescue Team DX over here is a remake of the spin-off's iconic freshman duo, Red Rescue Team and Blue Rescue Team, originally released in 2005 on the Game Boy Advance and Nintendo DS, respectively. So, now that we've effectively defined our terms, how does this thing work? Well, as soon as you boot up the game, you're prompted to do what is typical of all classic video games and take a personality quiz. That's right. After answering a series of invasive personal questions accompanied by a sweet synth pad for you audiophiles, you are told precisely what type of Pokemon most closely matches your personality type. Oh, also, fun fact about this. The Pokemon Mystery Dungeon personality quiz is, and this is completely true, just as scientifically accurate as the Myers-Briggs test. So if you're a total Torchic, slap it on your resume, baby. Nothing means anything anymore. Then, once you've picked a partner Pokemon and given yourself a name, you finally get to experience life as a Pokemon. That is, going through an identity crisis because you're convinced you used to be human, but have absolutely no way of proving it. Finally, a mainstream video game with other kin representation. <laughs> I told you guys, this game's great. Now, I don't want to go too deep into this game's story because I don't want to spoil anything and this segment has a hard out at six minutes, but I would be remiss if I didn't spend at least a section of this video talking about what, in my opinion, Pokemon does better than any other long-running franchise, and that is world building. Mystery Dungeon offers a unique spin on their ever-expanding solar punk multimedia landscape by presenting us with an incisive hypothetical. What if the Pokemon universe just didn't have any people in it? This entire series essentially gives us a glimpse into a version of the world of Pokemon devoid of human influence, in which the creatures are ostensibly the primary dominant life form. Society is run by the beasts, and it's adorable and I love it. This also ties nicely into how extraordinarily well the Pokemon Company handles promotional art. These images expertly convey the cheery, jovial tone of the game while retaining its storybook art style and Pokemon-centered perspective. They tell you everything you need to know without words, much like the structure of the town square itself, which is a hallmark of great environmental storytelling, aka one of the single most effective ways to build out a fictional world. But let's finally talk about how this game actually plays, since, you know, it's a video game and it's inherently interactive. Mystery Dungeon's core gameplay revolves around, as you probably assumed, dungeons, with randomly generated floor plans and snappy turn-based combat. You'll explore the layout, collect items, manage your various stats, head to the next floor, and repeat this surprisingly satisfying loop until you reach your mission objective after a fixed number of floors. 
However, since this is a roguelike, if you or your partner faint before reaching your mission objective, you will lose all of your money and half of your items, so make sure to keep that poke blood sugar nice and high. Progression is tracked through a leveling system, and you can purchase new moves from this bickering Kecleon couple in the town square, which, for the record, is one of my all-time favorite representations of small business ownership in any video game. In summation, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX is an endearing, interesting, and shockingly gratifying roguelike RPG showcasing some of the coolest world building that the franchise has to offer. Whether you're brand new to these fascinating detours, or you've been a fan since the original Rescue Team took the mid-aughts by storm, it's sure to be just the thing to hold you over until the Isle of Armor DLC drops this summer for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. If you want to pick up a physical or digital copy of Rescue Team, you can check out GameStop.com, the Nintendo eShop, or just dig a complex tunnel system beneath your home and roleplay as a diglet for the rest of your natural life. And hey, if you like hearing me explain things, you can head over to YouTube.com slash videos where I upload video essays and music videos and all kinds of fun stuff. Heck, there might just be some other Pokemon-related content appearing there in the very near future. Yeah, right? Isn't that ambiguously tantalizing. All right, I'll see you guys later.